everyone. The past month has been tumultuous to say the least for the black community with injustices like the horrific death of George Floyd. I can tell you it has been outright exhausting. It's something many people will never understand, but you can become an ally. There are movies, TV shows, there are documentaries, there are books, there are lots of things, but we're going to focus on what you can watch right now to educate and help you become a better ally. I've been in touch with pop culture expert Kathleen newman Bermang offline very often um, during all of what's been going on, and she is steadily pushing out content through Refinery29 and What's Good. So I want to start, you want to start with the hate you give as the first recommendation of what we can watch to get a little bit more enlightened. Yeah, Tracy, I do want to start with this movie because it is geared towards teens. It's a YA, it's based on the book by Angie Thomas called The Hate You Give. Uh, it stars Amanda Stenberg, um, a young activist, if you follow her on Instagram. And I wanna start with this because I think that we really need to talk about the next generation. And we need to be teaching our kids and we need to, if you are an ally, watch this movie with your kids. It uh, focuses on Star Carter, who is a teen, black teen girl, who witnesses the murder of her best friend, um, a black boy at the hands of police, um, killed by a police officer. And the story tells uh, Star's story of her grief and her trauma of dealing with that. Um, and also her being in a predominantly white environment at her school, and that I can relate to, and so many people can. And it really puts a human story to this uh, police violence and injustice that we're seeing all around us. Loved the book, loved the film. They're both incredible. Your next pick, Fruitvale Station. Tell us about that one. Ooh, so Fruitvale Station is um, a film from 2013 that is just as relevant now as it was then. It is made by Ryan Coogler, who you might remember from uh, Black Panther, a prolific director. This is one of his first films. Um, it stars Michael B. Jordan, and that is not why I picked it. It is very serious. It, it, all of you that have a crush on Michael B. Jordan, fine. Come to this movie for Michael B. Jordan, but stay because it is the story of Oscar Grant, um, a 22-year-old black man who, again, was killed by the police um, in the Bay Area in California. And um, it, again, tells the human story of, of this man, Oscar Grant, I'm gonna say his name again, and it will break you. This film is a hard watch, it's an uncomfortable watch, but again, if you wanna be an ally, you need to, you need to get uncomfortable and you need to look at this injustice in the face, and that's what this movie does. Well, continuing to looking at the injustice in the face, 13th, walk us through that one. The 13th is a documentary by Ava DuVernay. It's on Netflix. And it is, of course, referring to the 13th Amendment in the United States Constitution that uh, abolished slavery with a caveat um, that includes the, the prison system. And this movie, or this documentary, really explores how the U.S. prison system is a form of modern day slavery for black men and for brown men who we know are incarcerated at higher amounts. Um, and this documentary is unrelenting. Again, it's uncomfortable. It is a must watch for me uh, because it is educational. It'll teach you things that you don't know about the criminal justice system, but also teach you how we are all complicit in it. And if you are not actively trying to reform um, the criminal justice system, um, then you are taking part in it. Strong Island is also on Netflix. It's a 2017 documentary made by Yance Ford, who is a trans black man whose brother was uh, murdered. And the, he investigates throughout this documentary in a real personal and harrowing way the murder of his brother that was covered up by police. Something like Strong Island takes you into this story. You feel like you're in this family. Um, and you're gonna feel like it's personal for you. I don't know how you can after you watch this this film. Okay, and I love the fact that there we, we speak about uh, you know a trans uh, black woman, um, gay black women. We often leave them out. Black women, period. We often leave them out of this struggle for freedom and equality. So thank you for that pick. And uh, when they see us is also unrelenting and horrifying um, because you see something that happened in real life uh, played out and you know one of the people that helped put these 
little boys behind bar, uh, bars is now the president of America. My kids watch this uh, with my husband, and I think that a lot of people think that race and inequity is something that you should be shielding your children from. The kids need to know the world they're living in. You can be age appropriate about it, but when they see us might be an intro to your teenager. So tell us a little bit about when they see us. Yeah, I think you're so right, Tracy, that, you know, we as, as black women haven't been able to uh, shield ourselves from this. And I remember getting the talk at I actually don't remember when was the first time. It just is something that I that has always been a part of my life. Um, and so, yeah, we are not able to shield ourselves from it. And um, when they see us, shows that because these black boys, the exonerated five, that was known, they were known as the Central Park Five. Um, they were wrongfully convicted of raping a woman in Central Park. Um, and again, like you said, uh, Donald Trump led a campaign to uh, push the, the media and the public against these boys. Um, and what this uh, series does, it's a scripted series by Ava DuVernay again, uh, what it does is show that they were boys, that they had lives, and I'm gonna uh, say their names because I think it's very important to say names in instances like this. So Anton, Corey, Raymond, Kevin, and Yusuf. Um, and yeah, when they see us is a heartbreaking watch. And I understand that if you don't want to relive the trauma, if you are a black person, but if you are a white person, again, we don't have that option. So you need to face this and watch this series all the way through, sit in this discomfort, sit in the sadness, and then decide what you're going to do about it. Kathleen, thank you for all of the work you do. It is hard work, it is not easy. Remember to rest, I will always remind you of that because I'm the auntie that tells you to slow down. You. Um, and I wanna say, we're gonna put all of these resources <laughs> online. At, <laughs> always, honey. We're gonna put all these resources <laughs> online at cityline.tv so that you can look them up uh, with your family uh, or when you have some time on the weekend. Kathleen, thank you for this.